Ready? Thank you. Uh, news on the successful rescue operation uh, by Korean naval Cheonghae unit surely has lightened up the Korean military mood, noting that it has suffered from a series of fatal provocations from North Korea last year. And uh, all of 221 crews of this Hamo Juli were saved unharmed, except the captain of the ship who suffered a bullet wound to the stomach, who is currently being treated in hospital in Oman. And today I'm going to brief about the dramatic rescue operation and show you the video footage of the unit rescuing crews of the Korean cargo ship uh, that was filmed from a Lynx combat helicopter which took part in the Navy's counter-piracy operations. Let's take a look. The Korean Navy's Cheonghae unit successfully rescued all 21 hostages on board a Korean cargo ship, Samodroli, that was hijacked over a week ago by Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. The rescue operation took place in high seas just over a thousand kilometers off the northeast Somali coast, involving high-tech military equipment, including a Lynx helicopter. The freighter carrying 21 crew members, including eight Koreans, two Indonesians and 11 others from Myanmar, had been seized on Saturday two weeks ago en route to Sri Lanka from the United Arab Emirates. The Korean military said the rescue operation involved a gun battle, leaving eight pirates dead. This process, the Cheonghae unit with about 300 troops has been in charge of patrolling the pirate-infested waters of Somalia since 2009 as part of international efforts to curb hijackings in the area. The unit began its rescue mission for the 11,500-ton cargo ship last Tuesday and saved the hostages just three days later. Seoul's Defense Ministry released a video clip on Sunday of the unit rescuing crew members of a Korean cargo ship that was filmed from a Lynx combat helicopter. The rescue operation started at around 5 a.m. Friday local time. Three rubber boats carrying 20 members of the underwater demolition team silently approached the Samodroli. <laughs> It took around five hours to rescue all the crews on board amid a gun battle that ensued with the pirates. And to show the people how the rescue operation was done, the anti-piracy training conducted by Navy Special Forces daily was revealed to the media on Saturday. Rigid inflatable boats with fully armed Special Forces chase after a ship speeding away. The troops promptly board a ship that is being hijacked by pirates. 특수전여단 특수임무대대 대원들은 그 해상에서 일어나는 테러 상황을 진압하기 위해 이렇게 평소 교육 훈련을 실시하고 있으며 오늘 실시한 훈련은 그 해상에서 항해 중인 선박이 테러범에게 납치되었을 때 저희 특수임무대대 대원들이 투입되어 이렇게 제압하는 상황을 이렇게 종합적으로 훈련한 상황입니다. A Lynx combat helicopter armed with snipers approaches the vessel, while other soldiers descend from a transport chopper onto the deck. About 30 special forces are involved in these daily open sea exercises near Pyeongtaek Naval Base south of Seoul. The special forces from the air and the sea now successfully landed on the hijacked ship and they will be now heading to the steering house to capture the pirates and save the hostages. After searching for hostages, the troops then locate the ship's bridge. The door fly opens and the troops storm inside. The troops then successfully capture the pirates one by one and save the hostages. The troops then successfully capture the pirates one by one. 해적 제압 작전을 완벽하게 수행하였으며 국면의 생명과 안전을 위협하는 적대 세력은 적각 응징할 것입니다.
The special forces who successfully saved all the crew members of the Samol Droli from Somali pirates also went through five weeks of intensive training before they were dispatched to the Indian Ocean. The troops focused especially on the sharp shooting skills, noting that the narrow and maze-like passages of the ship make it more difficult to accurately hit targets. And because of such training, the troops were able to accurately shoot the pirates on the deck of the Samodroli from the helicopter. Such simulation under the toughest conditions made it possible for the UDT troops to successfully end the hostage situation. And that was the simulation by the UDT that they do every day that you actually went on board mm -hmm. to actually observe right. the training. How was that? It was very exciting and to actually see them how, you know, things are done to uh, attack the terrorists and counter, you know, pirates. So they do that every day and um, it was really cool to actually see them and all the helicopters, Lynx helicopter, and they were fully armed with uh, all the equipments and loaded guns and it was, yeah, it was very interesting. Yeah, I thought it was quite brave of you to do the stand-up with the guys in the back uh -huh. with loaded guns, uh -huh. you know, pointed in your direction. I thought that was quite, uh, quite a very scary thing to do. Not at all. No? Because <laughs> when all. you really <laughs> think about it, I mean, they're Korean army, um, Korean they soldiers. Are our Navy, yes, so. yeah, our yeah. Navy. So um, I would, I don't think they would risk my life, and of they were not. there to protect. Right. Just to kind of like see how that can be um, quite a very aggressive like posture, and I think mm -hmm. that's why that we've seen that this is a different mm -hmm. rescue mission because there was no negotiations, there was no backing down to. Uh, to to the pirates and right. so this is mm -hmm. one of the first times that's been able to happen right um, like as you said for example last year a Korean another Korean cargo ship Hamo Dream was hijacked by Somali pirates and they were released on November with a ransom of reportedly um, nine million US dollars so having no negotiations involved this time surely um, shows the, the world that uh, Korea will not tolerate any threats or any um, illegal actions from the pirates whatsoever and they will deal with it with a defense um, system. Right, but um, it is good news that we have succeeded in this uh, this occupation, mm -hmm. but concerns are rising because Somali pirates have threatened to kill any um, mm -hmm. Koreans in the future that mm -hmm. they come along. Mm -hmm. They've kind of put a death mark on us. Mm -hmm. Now, how, how is uh, Seoul's Unification Ministry or Defense Ministry mm -hmm. responding to this? Well, so far, no official statement has come out yet from the Defense uh, Ministry, but the South Korean government is maintaining its stance that um, it will not tolerate any uh, threats from, as I said before, uh, a threat towards the lives and security of the Korean citizens. So um, I'm sure that uh, the, the UDT, that as you saw, they will train, keep keep on training themselves to better protect the Korean citizenship, and you know, hopefully, this will not happen again. Yeah, and uh, we also heard of um, Captain Seok mm -hmm. um I guess, slow recovery mm -hmm. in Oman. Now, mm -hmm. um, his second surgery has been postponed, and mm -hmm. we've been hearing about a relay of Koreans living there to mm -hmm. uh, donate blood for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I've been report. Um, heard reports from Oman, and people uh, people heard all this news about this um, successful. A rescue operation um, from the, the Somali pirates and yes uh, well, his condition is not really uh, good that's what I heard but mm -hmm. um, people are lining up to donate blood and helping him out and hopefully we will able to see him um, healthy and returning to his family. Definitely, right. definitely. When is he uh, expected to come? When are they all expected to come back? Well, they're expected to fly back to Korea sometime around January 29th so uh, we'll hope that we'll be able to see them and maybe probably I'll be there to interview them at the airport so oh, of January course 20th, of course my birthday oh, okay. <laughs> hopefully that's, that'll be the happy day <laughs> well thanks so much Nari for joining us and bring us this, this Thank report you.